going to talk to you about briefly about the awareness methods of fertility, which means the ovulation test that we use. So how do we track fertility? You have the calendar method where you look at the calendar and you look at the menstrual calendar and you check. You've got cervical mucus monitoring. You've got the basal body temperature and you look at the ovulation detection devices. Now, if you look at the ovulation detecting, detection devices, they are technology-based devices and to precisely pinpoint the best time may not add to clinical utility, which basically means that you may not be able to get the ideal time and there may be an error rate, we think, of around 15 to 20%. Now, if you look at ovulation with urine LH, and again, when you're looking at the LH monitoring by urine, there's a false positive in 7% of cases. And the use of ovulation detection devices, also known when you use them, you do reduce the time to pregnancy. If you look at cervical mucus, the volume increases due to estrogen. So you see an, a thin increase of cervical mucus five to six days preceding ovulation. And in fact, it may be better than the bo basal body temperature. So it's important to remember that all of these techniques have limitations to how effective they are. And if you ha have been trying for about a year or so, ask for help. 